And if we think of this tapping into excess capacity, we really could call it sharing. That it's, a, it's an opening up of the things that we have and letting other people participate in this collaboration. These are the biggest hotels, and you can look through here and see how the biggest hotel chain in the world is the International Hotel Group. It's been around for 60 years, 4,400 hotels in 100 countries, which is pretty darn big. Think of the assets and the building of that infrastructure and getting those hotels in the right places, and you could get them in the wrong place, and you're screwed. I mean, it is an intense effort. But in fact, Internet, Internet, Intercontinental Hotel Group is not the largest bed sharing entity in the world, it's couch surfing. So couch surfing is where people put their excess capacity, their beds, into the system, and then people who want to stay in those beds around the world can go find those people with those beds or those couches and stay at their houses. And these are real people who are putting their beds up, and in fact, there were people who stayed in those people's houses and their comments about them, how great they were all around the world. So if we go back and compare, let's look and see that couch surfing has been around for seven years, it has 850,000 couches to be slept in in 237 countries, 71,000 cities. Pretty darn amazing. And then you compare that with these largest hotel chains in the world, 60 years versus seven years. 30% more rooms to stay in. Double the number of countries. It is really intense. End users providing the content. And look at the speed that this can happen. This is um, the man who invented chat roulette. Andre Ternovsky, and he may be balding, but he's 17. And do, does anyone here not know what chat roulette is? Okay, I'll go briefly. So chat roulette um, has now got 30 million users, unique users. And what it is, is you have you on the bottom, you are the screen on the bottom, and the guy on the top is the stranger that you're surfing with, and you say chat, and then you can go next, next, next. So here's an example. Remember, you're the guy on the bottom, stranger above, and you say, okay, Ohio for here, and he says, Estonia here. And you say, do you exercise in Estonia? And then you both lift up your barbells that are conveniently located next to your, your laptops. So this is couch surfing. Andre had an interview in the New York Times about a week and a half ago. And here's this interview, and I want to go through it with you because it's kind of remarkable. So how long did it take to build? Remember, he's 17. It took me three days. I built it on an old computer I had in my bedroom. Then what happened? Well, at first I showed it to my friends, and they criticized it. They asked, why would anyone want to use it? So I went into a few web forums and asked people to try the site, and I got 20 people to try it. So note here, he had an idea. People thought it sucked. He said, I don't care if you think it sucks. I'm going to go do it. He went and did it, and he got 20 people to try it. Then, last question. So how many users do you have now? Six months since creation. Well, after the initial 20 users, the site doubled, and it continued to double every day since then. Last month, I saw 30 million unique visitors come to the website and 1 million new people every day. It continues to multiply, and I couldn't stop it from growing. So that is amazing. And so what's going on here? Um, I have down the side are the things why Andre could do this in three days, 17-year-old that he is, and why it is that people could actually do it, because they have video cameras built in. You know, they could tell their friends about it with email, they could Facebook, they could Twitter it, and all these platforms are right there, so in no time, 17-year-old could go do it. So does it make you feel terrified or excited? And this is really the question at hand, terrified or excited. So here's the recipe. Number one, identify other people's excess capacity. With couch surfing, we have people's idle bedrooms. With uh, chat roulette, we have these cameras and the laptops, and I'm sitting there bored to tears. Let's think of something to do. And it's also something I want to participate in. So we could make a platform that sucks, but good platforms identify other people's excess capacity. And then, of course, we can create a platform that makes use of it. So end users bring their own content and their own stuff. And this is how you can get this incredible lift in what I find so exciting.